This is modern homesteading. Isn't it a beauty? This axe, this little cruiser's axe head, uh, was given to me by a subscriber um, and a new friend, YouTuber Northwoods21, or Mike, uh, sent this to me. Uh, just before I left for the axe class, and I was so excited to take it with me, I ran out into the shop and, and uh, made this handle for it uh, from uh, my Tennessee Hickory. A cruiser's axe is uh, something that uh, is really uh, dear to my heart because they're just so rare, they're hard to find. At least in this area, there, there are quite a few axe collectors. This is one of the most desirable axes uh, or, or styles is the small cruiser head. It's a traditional double bit, but it's much smaller, as you can see, two pounds or so, give or take. And the eyelets are smaller on them. These were really pro po popular with timber cruisers. And what a timber cruiser was and is, uh, is a man that would work for a private timber company or, or the Forest Service, and uh, a piece of uh, property or a section of timber, they would walk through it and uh, be able to kind of estimate uh, how many board feet were in there for, for, for timber sales. And this was really popular with them because it was small, compact, lightweight, and easy to carry. They could use it for trimming branches. The early days before they used paint, they would use it for blazing trees. And it's a great axe to keep in the back of a truck and just a joy to use. It's good for, good for kids to use because it's so light as a 26 inch or 28 inch handle, depends. You know, people have kind of different ideas on that. Uh, but whoa. Isn't it, isn't it nice? I did a traditional grind on it, which for a double bit axe is a really fine cutting edge. You can see there uh, a real a flat taper and then a more abrupt edge here and a durable side for this axe. This particular one is made by Gamble's Artisan. Gamble's Artisan was a hardware chain, as far as I understand, and Artisan was their axe line and they're really good axes. This one here is in great shape. It came to me uh, from uh, Mike in really good shape. It just had, the edges were really bad, so I reprofiled it and reground it and um, of course made this handle for it. I have, um, um, you can see the maker's mark there. I have uh, kind of adopted this this handle style here for my double bit axes, I really like this. I started this, or kind of made this shape here for the first time on my granddad's Sager Chemical. And you can see, I can see, you can kind of see the profile right there. It fits the hand really well and feels really nice and it's easy to do. I can show you that in future videos. Nice, whoops, nice grain orientation here from my hickory stock. And I made this whole axe uh, handle using my uh, with two tools, my bandsaw and my little four-in-one hand tool. Uh, it's a little hand rasp. So if you want to take on and uh, make it in your own handle, you really don't need the, that many tools. I have demonstrated ways you can cut out axe with just a regular saw and a chisel, or you can use a jigsaw if you have, or if you have a bandsaw, that's, that is definitely the easiest. But don't be afraid of it, uh, to, to take it on. Uh, also, uh, as I alluded to in the crosscut saw class, I have found the perfect axe handle for the American Felling Axe. It's a vintage design that I got from Casey from the Forest Service. He found the brand new handle that was never hung uh, in the back of a closet. It's very, very old and I have an exact template of it. Uh, one of uh, my subscribers has stepped up who's an engineer draftsman who's actually going to, uh, I'm going to get those dimensions to him and he's going to do an exact drawing with all dimensions on that and provide us with a PDF file so I can share that, we can share it around, and we can use that, print that out as a template uh, for our future Axe product, projects. Uh, so that was really fortunate to be able to find that in such pristine shape. But uh, I wanted to share this with you, um, a fun little Axe, it's one of my favorites, and I just, just love it. Got to make a sheath for it, but, uh, but that's it. That's the Wrangler Star Signature Edition Gambles Artisan Tennessee Hickory Handled cruise, Small Cruiser's Axe. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video. So you've got a little ax head or hatchet head that needs a handle and you've been putting it off? Don't put it off, you don't need any special tools to do it. Right over here to the left, I uh, have put uh, a video, a couple videos there that will show you how to cut out an ax head. And if you can't find the material uh, and you just have a small hatchet head or something, maybe you can use an old baseball bat. Uh, there's plenty of room in a baseball bat where you can carve that out. What a great project uh, to do with your son or daughter. And your first one may not go quite as well as you want, but I'll tell you what, your second one will be much better. So I'll put those tutorials over there that'll kind of help you get started. A uh, great project and really fun, something you'll be proud of. So did you click the thumbs up button? Um, 
I've got to remind you, you know, we all forget. So take a moment and do that if you would. And I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.